Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. Some massive news coming out for the Washington Husky fans. As it sounds like former Arizona head coach Jed Fish will be the next head coach for the Washington Huskies. And for the Washington fans that listened to us Friday afternoon when Kalen DeBoer accepted the job at Alabama, we got right in the lap and we started putting together our wish list for the Washington Huskies. Jed Fish was at the top of the list, and for good reason. I mean, the only sample size you have of Jed Fish as a head coach at the college football level was with Arizona. He took a team that in the COVID year went 0-5, looked like completely non-competitive, and took that team over only won one game in 2021, won five games in 2022. We all saw that product that Arizona put out in 2023 going 10-3. Dill, you noted before we went live, like this roster was going to need some work with or without Kalen DeBoer, right? You had a lot of NFL talent that was going to go to the NFL draft. What better guy to come in, lead this team into the Big Ten, revamp this roster than Jed Fish after what you just saw him do over the last couple of years at Arizona? In my mind, an absolute home run hire. I want to talk about Jed Fish, what he brings to the table. More importantly, how does he fit for this Washington Huskies program? Excited to get into it. Before we do, just want to say, Thank you to you guys, and a shout-out to the Washington Husky fans. I mean, obviously, a very frustrating last couple of days, but this has been a program that has been a blast to talk about over the last couple of months. Obviously, as Michigan fans, we had some very fun back and forth with you guys leading up to the national championship game. Cannot thank you guys enough for all the support you guys have shown. If you guys do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel and a program that I think we're going to be talking a lot about over the next couple of weeks as Jed Fish is going to get busy getting this team right, heading into the 2024 season. Dill, I'm going to give you the tee box here. Jed Fish coming over to the Washington Huskies. How are we feeling? And honestly, the biggest part of this for, for me is, is kind of what you said, is just how quickly I think Jed Fish is going to be able to turn things around. And again, I'm not sure they would have had a great year with Kalen DeBoer in 2024, just because of what you mentioned. Pretty much all the top contributors led by Michael Penix are, are obviously headed to the draft. And, you kind of look at what Kalen DeBoer had been building up through the recruiting and some of the stuff like that build your foundation, your program. It really was never there. He never really yeah. got the recruiting off the mat. In Jed Fish, you kind of you kind of saw him do at, at Arizona what essentially I think the modern day college coach yes. needs to do, and that's get really hard in the transfer portal, build a competent, competitive team, and then you started to see like in 2023 put together a top 25 recruiting class at a school like Arizona. I mean. That's the type of thing I think he's going to need to do. That's the thing I think he can do that maybe Kalen DeBoer wouldn't have wanted to or couldn't have done. And, but even before Kalen DeBoer took the job at Alabama, I mean, Kalen DeBoer, a phenomenal football coach. Like X's and O's, I'm one of the best in the game. But that team shouldn't have been outside the top 30 recruiting, especially the last two years Washington had. And that was something we were always critical about is, yes, this team is really good in 2022 and 2023, but what does it look in 2024 and 2025? And, I mean, Kalen DeBoer never really matched the recruiting that should have been matched with the play on the field. I think Jed Fish will be able to do a better job. And I think you mentioned it best. You talk about roster building. I mean, Jed Fish put on a clinic at Arizona, right? In that 2022 class, put together a top 25 class, created the bones of a roster that can be really competitive. But notice that after that 2022 season, hey, we need to add some talent on defense and we need to do it now. And so what does he do? He goes into the transfer portal, gets extremely aggressive, hits on a ton of targets, and try top 30 defense in 2023. Dill, I think Jed Fish has shown that not only is he a phenomenal football coach, but he's a good roster builder too. And when you marry the two together, I think that's how you get an elite head coach. And Jed Fish, I mean, I think he's one of those guys. And that's just so important going forward. And you kind of mentioned it, like his experience both at the NFL level and in the college football level. I think it gives him a different vantage point in terms of how to build a, a locker room in today's era. Because, again, yes. it's not like the way Kalen DeBoer came up at, at Sioux, Sioux Falls College where you kind of had that ability to keep guys in for four years easily, and it wasn't hard with the transfer portal. Like, Jed Fish is kind of used to both worlds. He's coached at big, big colleges. He's coached at big NFL teams. I think that does – give him a leg up in, in today's era. Oh, I'll I a hundred percent agree. Like the, the experience in the NFL in today's college football era is massive. I think Jed fish having that experience is huge. And 
So we talked about Jed Fish in the, the roster building perspective, which I think he's quite frankly an upgrade from Kalen DeBoer. What made Kalen DeBoer such a phenomenal coach? I mean, elite X's and those guys. I mean, him and him and Coach Grubb, like that was an elite offense still. I'm going to read you some stats from this Arizona offense. 34.3 points per game. That was 14th in the country. 6.4 yards per play. That was 13th in the country. You talk about X's and O's with probably a less talented roster than what Washington had. I mean, Jed Fish trotted out an offense that was pretty damn close to what Washington trotted out in 2023, and it didn't get as much um, publicity because Washington was the better team. Dill, that offense was phenomenal for Arizona, and I think he can bring those X's and O's offense. I mean, Jed Fish, in his own credit, is a phenomenal mastermind of an offense, and you're going to get that for the Washington Huskies as well. Yeah, I really don't see how you could worry that much about Jed Fish's ability to make things work. Because, again, you've kind of seen him go from, I mean, schools like Michigan. He was the one person who could really revive a passing attack at that school in the last handful of years, did a really good job at UCLA too. And then, you know, I mean, the big thing is once it was his program, you just saw how much better – I mean, able to quickly in, introduce that air raid offense that he likes to run and, and get it rolling. He, he took a, a low three-star quarterback in Noah Fafita, who nobody wanted to offer at the Power 5 level, brings him in. He has a redshirt year. Phil, Noah Fafita came out this year and was one of the better quarterbacks, not only in the Pac-12, but in the country. I mean, you talk about talent development. You talk about scheming up an offense. I mean, that's what he did at Arizona. I think he's going to be able to do it at Washington. And I think what excites me the most and kind of going back to why we think this job is so exciting in the first place. I mean, Washington just checked a lot of boxes in 2023, right? They showed that they can win at the highest level. They showed the recruits that Washington can win at the highest level. And more importantly, I mean, this is the most like fan engagement we've had from the, we've seen from this Washington Huskies fan base. Like there's a ton of buzz. This is a, a program that has an extremely high ceiling. I think Jed Fish knows that. I think that's why he's taking the job right now because let's be quite frank. like Jed Fish has another good year at Arizona, which he was going to have. The Florida Gators were going to call, come call. Uh, Billy Napier, not sure how long he lasts at Florida. I know a lot of Florida fans already wanted Jed Fish to come to Florida. Still, Jed Fish probably knew that he would have a lot of options after that 2024 season. Him taking that job with the Washington Huskies, I think tells you that he knows what this program can be. And to have a head coach that knows the ceiling of what this program can be, I think is absolutely massive. And there's really not, there shouldn't be any reason that Washington can't be a program up with anyone in the country. I mean, moving into the big Ten, I think is huge. Obviously we've talked about that just being on a more competitive landscape than what the PAC 12 was not to say the PAC 12 didn't have its good years here and there, but it didn't have that sustained successful programs like, Ohio State, Penn State, Michigan, some of those teams that have are just kind of good year in and year out, it feels like. And just the money, obviously, doesn't hurt either when you go into the Big Ten. But at the end of the day, I think this Washington team should be re- – like it just should be a program that you can build into something. And I think you kind of mentioned it with the fan engagement. I mean, use the hatred of Kalen DeBoer. Use it to fuel the fan base. And I, I do get the sense there is a bit of that. Like they're so upset with what he did. Well, we've seen the message boards. Yeah, the message boards. You almost want to prove it to him that like this is a big time program, and I, I, I mean, imagine how fun it'd be if they won before Alabama with Kalen DeBoer like that. Yeah, I mean, this is a. I think it's a phenomenal hire, and you, I have like all my notes of like why I think this is a phenomenal hire. And Jed Fish, again, I think what stands out to me the most, and we'll, we'll wrap up on this. Like you have one sample set of Jed Fish as a head coach, and it was arguably the most impressive head coaching job we've seen in the country. Like we've seen a lot of head coaches come in and do a really good job. He took a team that was 0 and 5 in 2020 and put together a team that was 10 and 3 in 2023 in three years. I mean, Jed Fish, the track record is phenomenal. I don't think there's as much of a downgrade as most of the national media is going to say in terms of the X's and O's and what this offense can produce in terms of output points per game and yards. And he's a better roster build. So, like, I, I'm, I'm fired up. I think a lot of Washington fans have a lot of reason to be excited about this one. Appreciate you guys rock with the boys. We'll continue. Actually, Dill, we're not gonna we're not gonna pause yet. We got one more thing to talk about. Judd Fish taking the job at the Washington Huskies. No Fita T Mac. Get him on the call. I mean, if you you talk about jump starting this thing in 2024, you talk about jump starting the Jed Fish era, bringing over a gamer like Noah Fafita, bringing over T Mac, 
certainly going to help. We'll see what he does. Interesting to see what they do in the transfer portal right now, and we'll see what he does in terms of hiring a staff around him. We'll keep you guys updated. Appreciate you guys rocking with the boys again. This is a program we're excited about, a hire that we're excited about, and we'll talk to you all later.